Okay, so let's look at one of the properties of elliptic curve cryptography, and that's how we can take two points on our elliptic curve and get another one which is also on the curve. So we do this by addition. We take one point on the curve and we add it to another point, and we should get, a, when we add them together, we should get a point which is also on the curve. Okay, so this is uh, the basic formula that we have uh, for our elliptic curve. y squared is equal to x cubed plus ax plus b. And then we have a finite field of mod p. So the values that we have are between 0 and uh, p minus 1. So all of our operations can be done with respect to mod p. So the curve itself looks like this without bringing in the mod p to it. Uh, in elliptic curve cryptography, we only deal with uh, integers within the finite field. So the basics of it is that we have uh, a generator point, typically. That's an x, y point on the curve. We then add that point n times to give a public key. So we define that as P is equal to, uh, or end P is our public key, is equal to P plus P, and so on, N times. Okay, so the basics of this is that we keep adding our, our points together. And with elliptic curve, if we have a value, say, P and K, Q, and we want to add them together, we end up with a value of r, so that r is equal to p plus q. When p is the when p and q are the same numbers, then we would define that as two p is equal to p plus p. Okay, so it's this basic operation that allows us to be able to create our elliptic curve cryptography. So here's an example of a real-life curve that's used in uh, bitcoins. So with this, uh, we see an A value of 0, so that goes, a B value of 7, and a prime number here. It's defined in hexadecimal, but it's typically something like 2 to the power of 256 minus uh, a certain value. Then we have our generator point, so that's the initial point on our curve that we're going to use, and then we're going to add that so many times to find our public key point. Okay, so those are the basic parameters that we have for any uh, curve. The larger the value of the prime number, the more secure it will be, because the more points there will be on the elliptic curve. So when we bring in the uh, the mod p part, then it doesn't look quite as analog as the other one, and we end up with uh, these points here. So this is a equal to 0 and b equal to 7. We'll take a prime number of 37. So the first uh, points that we have are, or the points that we have, are these ones here you can see that some values don't actually exist. For example, 1 and 2 don't have a solution. And the reason for that is, is if we take 1 here, and that's a 7, and mod 37, there is no a value of y squared mod 37 that will give us a value of 8. But there is for 3, so if we say that y squared is equal to 3 cubed plus 7 mod 37 and that becomes 27 34 mod 37 then the answer to this is that 16 squared mod 37 is equal to 34 which gives us a valid value so that's that value in there so that's the point 316. Then we have one at 416, 513, 
six one and, and so on. So these are all the results of when we plug in a value of x up to p minus one, then we look to see if we can find a solution for a value of y when squared and taking the mod of 37 uh, will give us a solution which is equal to this part here. Okay, and we can see that most of the time we have a solution. So we end up with a kind of scattergun uh, type uh, distribution uh, with, with the dots representing uh, links on our elliptic curve. So the basics of what we have with elliptic curve is that we add two points together and we should get an, another point. So it works within our analog uh, type uh, plot and it should also work within our finite field because of the we're operating on mod uh, p. So the way that we do it is that we have two ways to calculate uh, the curve points or the resulting curve points. So if we take one point, another point, where do we end up? Hopefully what we'll do is we'll end up with another point with inside the elliptic curve. So the two uh, ways is that if they are different points, then we calculate uh, S equals uh, delta Y over delta X, it's just the gradient here, and then we calculate uh, the new point x2 value is s squared minus x1 minus x2 and the y value is equal to s times x1 minus x2 for the difference between the two points minus uh, the the uh, the y y1 uh, value and that gives us our x y point but if the two values are the same so we're taking P and we want to create 2P. So that often happens, as we've seen with a public key encryption. Then we use this formula here. So with S value this time is 3X squared plus A divided by 2Y. And then we calculate X2 with this and Y2 with, with this. So this gives us a way to be able to calculate uh, our point addition. So here's the example here. So I've just got a little bit of uh, Python code which should implement this. Uh, there, is our, uh, there is our S value being uh, calculated. But before, I'm only entering the X value here because I can determine the Y value. So if we enter two X values, we determine the two Y values that are associated with the points. We can then calculate the S value and the new point here. So this is our point addition. So this is taking 6, 1 and 8, 1 and we get an addition of 23, 36. So if we try another point, so let's look at uh, 13, 13. So there's 13. We'll add them together and we get 4, 16. If we try one that isn't on the elliptic curve, such as 2, then it won't actually work for us. So we've got to pick the values that are on the elliptic curve to be able to get them to, to add. Okay, So that's the basics when uh, we have two uh, different points. When we have... Uh, if we want to look at the range of uh, values that we'll create for a given point, just to check that they'll all occur on the axis. So this is a simple program here. So what we have here is that we're going to enter an X value. So that's going to be, we're going to generate the Y value for the elliptic curve and check that it's on the, uh, on the elliptic curve. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take every value that exists with inside that elliptic curve and then uh, add it to that point and see what the results are. Hopefully what we'll get is uh, we'll, we won't get repeated points when we add uh, that value because that's one of the properties of elliptic curve. So we're going to go through each of the values and then if it's equal if the points are equal, 
then we're going to use this formula and if the points are different we're going to use uh, this formula okay so that will allow us to be able to go through try each point within the elliptic curve uh, each valid point and then we should be able to see the results from there okay so this is the the one that we're using here so we'll pick a point and then what we'll do is we'll add each of those points to this point and then we'll see what the result is to see if we end up with uh, a point within the elliptic curve so here's a sample run so we'll take the point six one which is this point here and then we'll go and add each of the points to this value and then we'll see where we end up so 6 1 and 3 16 which is this value here ends up at 16 16 12 that point there so when we add that point and that point then we get that point and we go through each of them and you can actually see that each of them will produce a different point within the elliptic curve and that's how uh, that's why it works uh, elliptic curve works so well the one that you should notice here is this one so this one is when we add the a point to itself and we get uh, 2p here this is the operation that we often use in terms of creating our public key we just keep adding the same point for n uh, times and then that will produce our public key okay so let's look at what that looks like so there's a point six it's calculating uh, six one but we can take another point and we'll take point 22 here so 22 for the x value should give us six as a y value and it does and then we'll take all the points and we can see here they map into all the points so there's uh, there's the points that we have for our elliptic curve and each of those are actually valid points on the elliptic curve okay so so with this uh, we will always get uh, a, 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 a correct value on the curve so in terms of the 2p in this case, uh, there we are here. So 2, two times or 2n 2 2p of 22, 6 gives us 19.24. Okay, so uh, if I can recap uh, how important this is. So we can take two points in the elliptic curve and we'll end up with another point which is also on the elliptic curve and uh, what we do is that uh, we create typically a generator point and then we have 2g 3g and and so on so we end up with n times g is equal to p and that is really just g plus g plus g and and so on n times and the difficulty with this is that it's very difficult to find out the value of n which is used even though we know p the public key and g the generator value okay but there are other properties with inside this that we can use including hashing a point to an elliptic curve and also adding two points th together okay so that's been a basic demonstration of how to add elliptic curves uh, elliptic curve points together